Welcome to Shamu and you exploring the world of birds. Let's start off with Shamu asking you, what would your world be like if you were a bird? They're 
cocksuckers, but they might better be called Dr. Birds. Oxpeckers eat the ticks and other annoying insects that are attached to large animals, like the giraffes. And the oxpecker will go anywhere to find insects. So, if you're a giraffe and you want to get rid of a pesky insect, you hope that the doctor bird will make a house call. That's a strange bird. In fact, there are lots of strange birds. A woodpecker, it's strange. Because it always goes in trees every, um, all the time. It goes like it. A woodpecker is a strange bird. A woodpecker's beak and skull act like a jackhammer to burrow into trees for food and shelter. Talk about using your head. This is an odd bird. It's the kiwi of New Zealand. A kiwi can't fly, it can't see very well, and it has feathers that look like hair. But New Zealanders love the little birds so much, they even call themselves kiwis. <laughs> this has to be one of the funniest looking birds. It's called a puffin. Puffins are seabirds. And they can even swim underwater to get their food. A funny looking bird that can fly and then swim underwater? That's strange. <laughs> the coldest place on Earth is the Antarctic. Along its coast, temperatures can drop to 50 degrees below zero. Ooh, how could anything survive there? But the Antarctic is just the place to be, if you happen to be a penguin.
songbirds are found all over the world. Don't they sound beautiful? Wait a minute. Those are crows. Okay, I admit it. Crows are songbirds too. You see, a bird doesn't have to sing well to be a songbird. What really matters is how well they perch. When a songbird lands on a limb, its legs tighten automatically. So even if the songbird falls asleep, its legs stay locked to that limb. So songbirds could also be called perching birds. But somehow, perching birds just wouldn't be the same.